Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool, and in this video we're looking at the join tool from Ensolve. So Ensolve is an add-on that adds a lot of tools to the Blender toolset. There's an affiliate link in the description if you're looking at getting it. It gives a little bit of money to the channel without costing you any extra, which really helps support the channel. So if I just click off, this is a file that comes with Ensolve. If you just click here on the Ensolve icon with nothing else selected and press D, you can get these demo files and this one is the Q tanker if you want to try this out yourself but we're just going to go into edit mode so let's go to vertex mode and we're going to come into Ensolve and more importantly we're going to use the join tool now this is a very nice time saving tool all this does is what the standard join feature would be instead of having to click click and then coming across the keyboard to press J you don't need to do that anymore you just click on your vertex drag it and then it joins it to that other side you can also use this across multiple edges. So for example, I could do there and it will join through. A really, really nice tool. And it's gonna be very useful for solving problems if you've got engons and want quad geometry. I should say, obviously this is not the best way to solve this, but we haven't talked about the other tools yet. And we will talk about those in time. If you are impatient to get those, I'm doing one video a day on each of those, so they're easy to search for in the future. But if you do want them ahead of time, they're already out in the Patreon because the Patreon's a week ahead of time. So if I then press D and bring up the helper option, we can see we've got other options here of what we can join to. So for example, we can turn these on and off. For example, we might want to put this to an edge, which means that I can click this and join to places on edges. I will say if you're quite zoomed out, it might not like this, so you want to zoom in further and then it will allow you to do this anywhere on this edge. You also, if we go back and press D again, have the option instead of doing this to an edge to do perfectly to the middle of an edge. Now this is a really nice feature, I think, just to make sure everything is quite evenly distributed. You also have under this menu, the option of doing this to a face. And if you use this effectively, this works like the poke face option, except you can tell it where to poke the face. So you could do it off to the side. Or if you wanted to, let's bring up that helper menu again with D, we could turn that off and choose center face and there it will snap to the center of that face, allowing you to poke only certain faces in the center, which is quite useful if you then want to say, create some sort of interesting different shape or have these point upwards. Finally, the thing that I find most useful about this is that if we come to D, I'm gonna turn off center face and click multi-join. What that's gonna allow us to do is select multiple vertices and then drag them to one vertex and it will join them all in one go. Definitely a time-saving feature in comparison to the standard Blender workflow. As always, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed for more videos on Ensolve and other useful tips for Blender. Have a great day, guys.